Hi everyone, my name is Katrina. I'm a fourth year social work student at Ryerson University and I'm currently doing my placement practicum with the organization for a safer space. Today I'll be doing my third book club on the book Sister Outsider Essays and Speeches by Audre Lorde. So here's a table of contents. I put in bold the three essays that we'll be discussing today. So Sexism and American Disease in Blackface, An Open Letter to Mary Daly, Man Child, a Black Lesbian Feminist's Response. So first we're gonna begin with sexism and American disease in blackface. The main theme that I pulled from this essay is black feminism. In this essay, Lord pens this as a direct response to an article in The Black Scholar by Robert Staples. Lord critiques his article that black feminism is not a threat to black men. Black feminism, someone that is much different than white feminism, focuses on issues that directly impact Black women. Lord questions what makes Black feminism so fearful to men. Black women experience gender-based violence and misogyny, both of which are forms of violence, whereas Black feminism is truly an expression of feelings and emotion that have, haven't been violent. Lord references the case of Patricia Cohen and argues that misogyny within the Black community distracts us from capitalism, which is something we should be more fearful instead. To end her argument, Lord states that black men must stop buying into the societal ideals that white folks have set out and stop expecting black women to meet these expectations of femininity. So a key quote that I pulled from this essay goes as follows. Black women have particular and legitimate issues which affect our lives as black women. And addressing those issues does not make us any less black. To attempt to open dialogue between black women and black men by attacking black feminists seems short-sighted and self-defeating. And this is on page 64. So the next essay we'll be talking about is an open letter to Mary Daly. The main theme that I pulled out is feminism and whiteness. So this essay is formatted in the form of a letter to Mary Daly. So this letter is again a direct response, which only this time it is a response to Mary Daly's book. It's important to note that Lord did reach out to her, but when she heard no response, she went ahead and published her essay. Lord begins by praising Daly for her activism and mentions that she was at first hesitant to publish as black voices that critique white women's work is often ignored. One of the many critiques that Lord makes is that Daly includes black women in her writing for decoration without carefully considering what narrative she's portraying. Um, in her book, Mar in Mary Daly's book, um, she, there's a chapter that talks about African women and the references that she makes to black women in that chapter focuses in on uh, genital mutilation. So Lord's argument here is that, you know, great, you put black women in your book, but the way you chose to portray them is a little bit degrading and doesn't put the, the best picture out there. So this is why Lord is arguing that, you know, she's using it for decoration and not carefully considering what narrative she's sharing. She also argues that because Dali is a white woman, she herself may be unaware of the differences and experiences of patriarchy. So another key quote that I pulled goes as follows. The history of white women who are unable to hear us black women's words or to maintain dialogue with us is long and discouraging. But for me to assume that you will not hear me represents not only history, perhaps, but an old pattern of relating, sometimes protective and sometimes dysfunctional, which we, as women shaping our future, are in the process of shattering and passing beyond, I hope. And this is on page 70. The last essay that I'll be talking about is Man Child, a Black Lesbian Feminist's Response. So in this essay, Laura talks about a dilemma she and many others face how to raise your son in a feminist way while living in a sexist society. Um, I just want to jump in and note that um, Lord is a black lesbian mother. And so this is the approach that she's taking. Lord focuses in on her own experiences, raising her son and talks about the complexities of teaching her son to own his feelings and how to express them. She teaches him that she is not here to feel his feelings for him. She mentions that many men will repress their feelings with the, accept, with the expectation that women will do the work and process it for them. Lord shares she is open with her son because showing a strong front all the time may do more harm than good. Lord also talks about victim blaming and how even those who have good intentions may do this as well. 
sharing a personal anecdote of this. So a final quote that I pulled from this essay is, I wish to raise a black man, black man who will recognize that the legitimate objects of his hostility are not women, but the particulars of a structure that programs him to fear and despise women as well as his own black self. And this is on page 76. All right, so that concludes our third book, book club. <laughs> Thank you all for listening and I'll see you in our next one to discuss the next few chapters. Bye everyone.